Hi class, in this video we're going to learn how to make a table of content in Markdown VS Code and then uh, for our GitHub uh, documentation. So this is one of these annoying parts of uh, Markdown uh, that it's, it's a little tricky but it's not really that complicated. Just follow my instructions along and you'll be able to do it properly with no problem. So uh, for the purpose of this example, I have here a little document. This is the sample project number two. That, that I used to show you how I was uh, um, how I was expecting you to write your documentation. So to generate a table of content, make sure that you have the following extension installed. So let's go to extensions, click on extensions. It's called Markdown TOC or Markdown Table of Content. Once you install this extension, you will be able to. Some of you have it already installed already because it was part of the extensions that we installed at the beginning of the semester. So once you're there, just go and click your insertion point in the particular line where you want to generate your table of content. Click there, right click, and then click on insert table of content. Right, markdown TOC insert the slash update. So clicking here and the following uh, lines of text are going to be generated. The problem is that this is very ugly, right? So we, want, we, we will want this to look a little better. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this out. So we're going to cut it. And we're going to create a new file, so I'm going to double click over here, and I'm going to paste this here, and I'm going to save this file. So I'm going to click on File and Save. Right? Make sure to notice where you save your file, because that's important. This file is going to be saved in a, in a folder called Final Project inside my CIS106 directory. I'm going to name it toc.md. So I'm going to click on Save. Again, make sure you remember where you saved it and the name that you gave it and I'm going to click on save. Once you do that, open your terminal and navigate to the location where you have the file located. In my case, it is located inside final project. So if I do ls, you're going to see that it says if, uh, that a file called toc.md is located inside final project. What we're going to do is we're going to run a set command that is going to replace the word auto with a new line and that's going to format this nice and neat. So the command is as follow. Set open column, s for substitute, then forward slash, and then the word that we're substituting, in this case the word is auto, another forward slash, and then the pattern that we're going to substitute that word with, in this case is backslash n, that symbolizes a new line, and then again forward slash to end our set command. We're going to provide the flag of g, which means globally, which means that set is going to go and do it for every line that it finds in our file. Right? And then we're going to end it in a semicolon. Right? Make sure that you don't misspell your command because it's very important. Again, set, open quotation, s, forward slash, the, the, the word that you're replacing, which is auto, another forward slash, and then backslash n, which is the word that you're going to be substituting auto with, in this case is a new line, and then forward slash and the flag of G for doing it globally. After you write your set command, provide the name of the file that you are operating with. In this case, we are working with toc.md. Right. Let's run it without saving it so that you see what I mean. So if you present it over here, notice that this is properly formatted and it looks as a, like a table of contents should look. Right. So what we're going to do is that we're going to save the output of that command to a new file called toc toc2 or toc1.md and press enter. Notice that a new file has been generated over here called toc1.md. I am going to copy this part and I'm going to paste it in my original document over here in line number 4. After that, I am going to provide a new title called table of contents. And I'm gonna this and I'm gonna save. After I, after you save it, you can push your change it to GitHub. So I'm gonna do git at git commit minus m finished project and then git push. Okay, let me preview this and notice that the table of content looks nice and neat. And if you and if I go to my GitHub repo. Final project, sample project number two. It has a nice and beautiful table of content over here. If you have any questions, reach out to me in Slack and 
we might have a chat.